It is great to be with you today. Thank you to each of you for being a part of today's groundbreaking celebration and for your commitment to Roberts Wesleyan College and Northeastern Seminary. I am excited to be with you today, and as we gather today, we mark another historic event in the life of the college, the building of a new science and nursing center, which will help Roberts prepare the next generation for science, technology, and healthcare professionals, men and women who will take what they learn here and serve the world, not only with their minds, but with their hearts and with their hands. Because of this, we will continue to graduate students of character taught by world-class faculty and now in a world-class facility, ready to lead others in what it means to educate students with excellence in the 21st century and beyond. But today is so much bigger than the building of this physical space. It is part of our journey towards celebrating 150 years of education committed to developing students for character. And you heard it a little on the video. We are built on an unbelievable legacy. Roberts Wesleyan College and Northeastern Seminary are poised to bring hope. And this groundbreaking of today is part of our Legacy 150, Hope for Generations to Come, the capital campaign that will be launched in May. Legacy 150 is focused on strengthening the endowment, creating student scholarships, and building a quality facility that will enhance our nursing and science programs. I want to personally thank each donor, board of trustees member, campaign co-chairs and members, government officials, community members, faculty and staff who are here today. And as we recognized you earlier for being a part of this historical day and this monumental occasion in our legacy. So how do we put together the excitement of today and the future and who we were founded to be? And this is our chapel service, so I'm gonna get a little chapel-y on you and talk a little bit is in addition to this groundbreaking today. Our key verse today speaks to this directly and is extremely relevant. It's Luke 6:48. It's like a person building a house by digging deep and laying a foundation on bedrock. When the flood came, the rising water smashed against that house, but the water could not shake the house because it was well built. I don't know about you, but I grew up in a church where my family took me every week and we went to children's church. And there was a song we sang, I think, every single week. And it was, the wise man built his house upon the rock. I don't know, anybody know that song? And we had motions, right? So we started with, the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. Everybody remember? The foolish man built the house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. I won't sing for you this morning because I'm a bass and I'm normally a soprano. But the rains came down and the floods came up. And the best part of that verse was what? And the house on the sand went splat. But the second part of that song was the wise man built his house upon the rock. And it repeats itself. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling. The, war, the rain of the world, the struggles of the world, the challenge of the world started coming down. And when the rains came down and the floods went up, the, rock, the house on the rock stood firm. And so the last part of that song is, so build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to focus on that a little bit today because I want to talk about what's happening in this verse in Luke. See, Jesus came about... And when he was born and started to do his ministry, he was saying things that weren't fitting with what had been happening in society. He was saying things like, love your enemies, don't judge others, blessed are the meek, blessed are the poor in spirit, they're going to inherit the, the earth. He was healing people. And this was not what was happening at that time. What was happening at that time is there were some rules and regulations and everybody said, if I follow this list of things, then I'm going to be going to heaven, basically. I'm going to be with God. I'm going to be close to the Lord. And Jesus comes along and he says, no, I want to change some of that. And he did some crazy things that were unordinary at the time. So people started to follow him. And when you get 
to Luke chapter 6, you see that people have come around Jesus and they are wanting to hear what he has to say that day. And in the scripture above, he has all those verses and it talks about uh, what's happening. And he gets down to the end of chapter 6 and that's where we find this verse. And leading right up to it, the end of the chapter, Jesus asks a question. He says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? As for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice, remember that, I will show you what they were like. And he starts to tell the story of the sand and the rock. Whoever hears my words and puts them into practice, right? So what Jesus is saying is, if you call me Lord and you say that I am who you follow, I expect you to build a strong foundation so that when the rains and the struggles of this world come, that you will stand firm, not like on the rock. So I want to talk today about how does Roberts Wesleyan College and Northeastern Seminary fit into that foundation. And I believe it goes back into how we were founded in 1866. I believe we were founded on a rock, on a solid foundation, a foundation that is strong enough to weather the challenges of today if we continue to hear God's word and to put it into practice. Have you ever stopped to think about um, what you drive by every day? And many of you drove by today. There is a sign on the edge of the campus, and it says, Students for Character since 1866. And if you think about that, going back in our history, we were founded originally as a seminary. And I have a quote here, to prepare well-educated young people who could become servant leaders of high character. And our founder, B.T. Roberts, laid a foundation that was built on the freedoms we have in Christ. Students, I don't know if you know about the rich legacy of this college and seminary, but I'm going to tell you just a little today. The freedoms that we have in Christ, which are freedoms, it is to free our life so that we can follow him and build a strong foundation to make an impact in this world through whatever it is that we do. And B.T. Roberts, around, along with some of his colleagues, came together and they started a free Methodist denomination of which we are founded through. And there were these freedoms that they believed in. They believed, and think about this, 1866, they believed that people should be free, that they should not be in slavery. And in that time, that was a really difficult time. So they were opposed to slavery. They believed that women should have rights. Thank goodness, because I wouldn't be standing here. They didn't. So they believed women should have rights. They also believed that there should be a welcome and a freedom for people to attend church and that there shouldn't be the selling of the pews to the wealthy so that the poor had to stand in the back or outside. And there are other freedoms that they represented, but these are significant in the life and the legacy and the history of our college and seminary. And so... I want to make this a little personal in just these few minutes that I have because I know this is chapel. And chapel is such a critical cornerstone to who we are. So I want to make it personal to um, you. For the students, you attend a college or seminary, if you're a seminary student here today, that was built on almost 150 years of legacy. You came for varying reasons. And today, I don't want you to miss the foundation that's being poured into you. You have amazing faculty, staff, board of trustees members, community members, alumni who have built a foundation for you and are pouring into you. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Because the Lord has brought you here for a reason he has absolutely ordained this moment and brought you here, and he is laying a foundation for you. And if you choose to take that, you will graduate and walk across this stage ready to face the rains and the floods of this world that will come. And to the board of trustees, and to the faculty, staff, donors, friends of the college, community members, my challenge is to you is don't miss this opportunity to continue to strengthen this legacy. We are building a hope for generations to come, and we need to continue to build upon the legacy and the foundation that was built over these 150 years. So today, as we close, I just want to encourage you again, students, in this moment of chapel, 
don't miss your opportunity. And friends of the college and board of trustees and community, don't miss yours. We are building a foundation, hope for generations to come. Let's pray. Lord, we just come before you absolutely excited about what you are doing at Roberts Wesleyan College in Northeastern Seminary. Lord, we don't take lightly this amazing legacy that you have placed in our hands. Lord, today as we celebrate this groundbreaking and this Legacy 150 campaign, Lord, we acknowledge that you built the foundation of this college in seminary, and without question, we stand with you today. Lord, I ask that you bless the next moments as we dig and turn shovels, Lord, and as we claim the future of this science and nursing center. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honor for what it is you're doing at Roberts and Northeastern, and we thank you for the hope that you will bring to generations to come. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you, Dr. Porterfield, for your thoughts and observations. It's clear to me that you are already an important part of our Roberts Wesleyan and Northeastern Seminary community, and we're grateful for your inspiring words. At this time, I would like to welcome to the podium our Department of Nursing, Nursing Chairperson, Dr. Cheryl Kratzer, and then Student Association President, Ms. Katie Martin. After Katie speaks, I would like to welcome Dr. Terry Tabor, Chair of the Board, to say just a few words. Why don't you all come forward together? Thank you. Good morning. On behalf of the faculty of Roberts Wesleyan College, I give thanks to all here today who have supported the new science and nursing building. We give thanks for the financial support that we've received and we give thanks for the many who have participated in the design process for the state-of-the-art facility for our campus. The science and health professions have grown tremendously with innovation occurring in both basic and applied sciences. We've seen exponential growth in technology, technology that's transformed healthcare and clinical practice. We've seen advances in science supporting the need for interprofessional collaboration and communication that improves patient safety and quality of care. And we've also seen research supporting changes in how we educate students, moving from a teacher-centered environment to a learner-centered and experiential approach. This new building, with state-of-the-art science labs, nursing labs, and simulation labs, will give us increased capacity to provide our students with the latest technology, interprofessional practice experiences, and the experiential learning right here at Roberts Wesleyan College. Your generosity of time, gifts, and talents will enable us to be leaders in the education of our students, to prepare the scientists and health professionals for the future. The recent Life and Light magazine of the Free Methodist Church reminds us of our call to be fruitful. And this new building gives us new opportunities to be fruitful in preparing students who will become light to those they serve. It will enable us to continue in the fulfillment of our mission to prepare thoughtful, spiritually mature individuals who can help transform society. So again, on behalf of the faculty, we give thanks. Good morning. Today marks the beginning of a long-term venture that will be instrumental to the education of Robert students. I speak on behalf of the current student body when I say how much we are looking forward to the updates of our Smith Science Center. We're excited to see upgraded labs, new equipment, and a modernized facility, which will indubitably contribute to the higher education of students to come. We want to thank all who have had a hand in preparing this project. Thanks to the donors who have contributed financially, the campaigners who have ensured the fruition of this project, the designers who have conjured up the details of such an undertaking, and all participants and leaders who have been a part of this process. Much preparation has taken place so far, but now is the time that we get our hands dirty. As we break ground this afternoon, we thank God for his provision 
and look forward to the benefits this renovation project will have for Roberts Wesleyan College. Thank you. Greetings from the uh, trustees of Roberts Wesleyan, Wesleyan College and Northeastern Seminary. Several of my uh, fellow uh, trustees and colleagues are here this morning, and I know I speak for all of us when I say we are as excited as anyone here about this event. We have prayed for this building for a long time, and today is the milestone that we have hoped for and prayed for. As part of that, it's important for me to let you know how much we owe our generous donors. But it's also important for me to relay uh, their message of why they give so much. They do so as wonderful as this building will be, and it will be a wonderful space. They do so because they believe in the mission of Roberts and Northeastern, a community that comes together to prepare students to be the scientists, teachers, nurses, health professionals of the future. Women and men who will help transform our world because of their Christian education here at Roberts or at Northeastern. So this is a wonderful day. And this calling, this mission, is in fact a high calling and it requires a high level of commitment. As trustees, we've signed on for the long haul. And we are very, very glad to be able to participate in this celebration today of this milestone. Thank you for sharing, us, sharing it with us. Thank you all. And now, without further ado, I'd like to welcome to the podium our department of, uh, well, the, the following people. Student Association President Katie Martin, who just sat down, you can come back. <laughs> Nursing Department Chair Cheryl Kratzer. Science Department Chair Jason Taylor. Monroe County Assistant County Executive Bill Napier. Roberts Alumni Council President Jim Fenton. Legacy 150 Campaign Chair Norman Leanhouts, Board of Trustees Chair Dr. Terry Tabor, President-elect Dina Porterfield, SWBR Architects President David Benetti, President and CEO of La Chase Construction and our alumnus Bill Goodrich, Roberts Director of Facilities Rich Greer, former Board of Trustees Member and Facilities Committee Chair Bob Smith. It looks like we're all afraid a beam is going to fall from up there, doesn't it? <laughs> and now, let's break ground for the next generation. <laughs> 